Saurav asked, can you show a tutorial of how companies decide their maximum supply? Is there any hard science and process behind it? So I want to answer this with, it depends. It always depends. It depends on what kind of functions you're looking at. It depends on what, why are you using token bonding curves. It depends on the entire purpose of your ecosystem. It depends on the incentive mechanisms that you have in place. So for example, if you have if you're talking about an automated market maker, if you're talking about decentralized exchanges, then you don't have total supply. It just moves and changes according to the amount of liquidity and the depth of liquidity you have in your ecosystem. If you're talking about, let's say, equity, you know, you're having tokens as a form of security, as a form of equity to your company, then you need to have a maximum supply because then the amount of, the amount of shares that you give out or the amount of tokens you give out have to correspond to a total of 100%. So that, that's where you, you need to have a level of maximum supply. If you're talking about you know, a one-to-one -one exchange, one amount of token being added into your collateral and then you can take one token out, you don't need a maximum supply for that. Or if you're looking at a maximum, you're looking at creating a course. So you're doing a research or starting a company and then you have a, a, max, a hard cap of the maximum amount of money you want to raise because the equity will be distributed accordingly, then you can also embed that in. So honestly, there is no hard, hard and fast rule to defining the maximum supply, or even if there needs to be a maximum supply. It really depends on a lot of different factors.